They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that, but I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. When we say Modi, do we really mean Modi? Or do you think we have our own version of, I don't want to call it a deep state, but there has to be a sort of think tank. They say Ajit Doval is a part of it. Legendary figure from uh, probably India's modern history. People haven't heard about him. Uh, Amit Shah is obviously there. It's the BJP top leadership. Uh, I'd love to know from you, because we are assuming that BJP is probably going to be in power for the next 10 years. Who will be like the next PM of the country, according to you? Mm. Without getting into national politics, and I'd also kind of reframe that question as, who would you like to see as the next PM from an international perspective? The three candidates, maybe four, uh, that keep coming up in discussions around politics are Nitin Gadkari, uh, Yogi, Yogi Ji, uh, and maybe outside of the BJP, there's Rahul Gandhi and Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, do you have any opinion on these four gents? Uh, if you want to talk about the next prime minister, see, Mr. Modi has this unofficial rule that once you reach the age of 75, you've got to step back from any leadership position and take an advisory position, right? So Mr. Modi is, I, I don't know, 71, 72, 72 years old, maybe. So he's got another, another three years of active political life uh, that he can choose to continue. But I, I, it looks like he may step down at the age of, once he reaches the age of 75. So that may be after the 2024 election, assuming that he wins that election. So then the question is, who's the next PM? Like you asked. So what sort of PM would we like to see? We would like to see somebody who is relatively younger, right? If you're younger, you have more energy. So the uh, gentleman that you mentioned, uh, Mr. Kejriwal, I'm not sure what his age is. Mr. Gandhi is obviously youth icon. Then uh, we have um, <laughs> Mr. Yogi, <laughs> Yogi Ji, mm. and uh, Mr. Gadkari, Mr. Amit Shah. I think it's either Mr. Amit Shah or Mr. Yogi, in case Mr. Modi wins the next election and then he decides to step down at the age of 75. It could be a toss up between Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Yogi. So Mr. Yogi has now uh, already got considerable experience of, of uh, administering and governing a massive state like Uttar Pradesh, whose population is comparable to the population, population of the US. Yeah. So it could be Mr. Yogi, or it could be Mr. Amit Shah, because he has a lot of experience in these uh, administrative and governance matters. He also is the home minister of India. He understands the problems. And obviously, he would understand geopolitics as well, because if you're dealing with home, you're also dealing with external issues that are tangentially connected to home. Mm. So I would say it could be a toss-up between Mr. Amit Shah and Mr. Yogi. And I would expect that Mr. Modi will take the call as to who is to be the next prime minister. When it comes to external uh, politicians like Mr. Kejriwal and Mr. Gandhi, well, I don't have much of an opinion about them, uh, apart from uh, not considering them to be very strong leaders. Because they, well, um, yeah, I haven't seen that sort of leadership potential in the two of them. I'm sure Mr. Kejriwal is doing a fantastic job governing Delhi. I'm sure it's all visible. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has never been a chief minister or, or any such thing. So we don't know what his capabilities are like. I'm sure he's very capable, but he has never demonstrated that thus far. Mm. So that's why I, I cannot really pass judgment on Mr. Gandhi. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.